IBC uh, Amendment Bill 2024, which William Ruto has promised to sign into law. We say that this should be done expeditiously on this Abbasaba day so that we can have the process get underway of coming up as soon as possible with a new IEBC. Because the country right now is at a crossroads. This is not uh, a thing that we think should be delayed for even one extra day. Allow us also to uh, really commend our leaders in the Senate. The whole Senate. I saw for the first time Azumio and Kenya Kwanza talking the same language at the floor of the Senate when they refused to go on recess because the country was burning. What happened on the other side? <laughs> the National Assembly. I think it was a tunnel that helped them get away from young Kenyans running away from their own youth the and the ambulance some of them I'm told the speaker escaped in an ambulance <laughs> and some of them tried to access vigilante house and the police for once told them no 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 the GNC is on you and you may have seen them escape by helicopter atop the KICC what a shame running away from your own people but the Senate has stood firm and asked for, for once for accountability in support of the agenda by Gen C. So we, Mishmua Senator Ambua, who is the Deputy Minority Leader in the Senate, for Azumio, we thank you and your team. And even those others like Boni Alwale, and even I saw Cheruyot, apologize. <laughs> it is apology time to this country. So this Abbasaba day is very significant in this country, very, very significant. Um, of course, uh, when it happened in the 80s and 90s, it gave way to the um, doing away with article amending the Constitution, the famous Section 2A, to allow for multi-party democracy, which is what we are today. This time, the GNC has got William Ruto to do away with Finance Act 20, 20, Finance Act 2024, and then Finance Act 2023, which is still operational. Some of us hold the view that, um, for example, the housing tax is a slash fund. We have said it that we have said that before. The corruption continues unabated. A lot of money is get collected and uh, no, account, no accountability with regard to how they use their money. The problem some have said in this country is not revenue collection, but the consumption levels, the opulence, <laughs> uh, the greed that has been demonstrated by leaders, the inexplainable nepotism in this country, Additional to corruption, nepotism, tribalism. But the GNCs, congratulations, they have come up now with a country that we can say is getting detribalized. Because if you want to annoy the GNCs, you, you, you talk to them about your, your tribe. <laughs> so this is a big achievement. And, and the days of transparency are ahead of us. But before that happens, um, there's a lot of work to do. And we have come to Meru to tell our brothers and sisters that the struggle continues, a luta continua.